Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a cold banker, Dana Realtor. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Copper Ridge in New Braunfels, Texas. We're just off I-46 and about eight miles away from like the grocery shopping and all that good stuff. But this is a beautiful community and I'm out here because the house behind me is a former model home by uh, Vintage Estates built in, let's make sure I get this right, 2014. It is 3550 square feet. It is a three bedroom, four bath. It is a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. Now this is a beautiful community. I really like the access that it gives you from uh, so close to 46. You can hear it a little bit out there, but all these houses you're seeing right here are former model homes. So all these houses are beautiful and you can just see the beautiful view out the front of this house and yes this was a model home <clears throat> something real quick i do want to point out about this listing the seller actually owns the lot next to it and they're wanting to sell it as well so for an additional 149k you can have this one acre lot as well now some of the they've already got some of like the playground equipment trampoline stuff bleeding over from this one acre lot to that one but we're going to talk a little bit more about that later as we go to the outside but i don't want to keep rambling on i want to show the inside of this beautiful home now it is only three bedrooms but it's got so much more including nice features like a swimming pool and a beautiful movie room well let's head on inside I just love this entrance. It is so cool. Uh, it's definitely, this house definitely has a little Venetian style. Ooh, I have one of those uh, little Japanese maples in my house, in my little backyard there. But man, if you want a double doors, this is just gorgeous. They did just have a price reduction on this house. Um, and it was a pretty good one. They just dropped the price by just over $100,000. So currently it is listed as 995K. But check this out. Right, well, let me go show the ceiling here. This place is beautiful. And at this price, I don't think it's going to last long. This was the formal dining room. But as you can tell, not everybody needs two different eating areas. So they converted this into an office. And talking to listing agent, this is a little fake fireplace. They are going to pack that up and take it with them. But the background, that's going to still be there. So, like I said, just in today's day and age, you don't, most people don't use two formal dining room areas. But, oh my gosh, check out this office. So they use that as an office, but this is the primary office. Look at the detail and the wow factor. Yeah, this is really nice. Just so much detail in here. Beautiful flooring. Really, really nice. All right, as you come in, you do have a powder room toward the front of the house. It has the same type of flooring as the formal dining room or what could be transformed into a, a second office, sitting area, bar, whatever you want to do. Nice little coffee bar section, but look at these cabinets. I mean, the glass tops up there, yeah, they're just made to look pretty, but they do look pretty. Check out this main living space. All right, let me... Stand by my, have someone trying to call me and I gotta make sure I don't let them bother my video. All right, oh, I wanna talk about this oven. The sellers uh, in 2020, they put, just put this oven in. This is a $6,000 oven built by NXR. It is a six burner with a little griddle. I mean, it is uh, top of the line, that's beautiful. And just a level of detail in this house. Talking about uh, all details in this house, it does have the 
sealed granite sink with plenty of room for a skillet. Got more cabinetries down below. Loving the uh, lights. Let's see if I can get these lights turned on. Hopefully one of these not garbage disposal. And there it is. Okay, I don't know what that other light is. I guess it's not that important to turn those lights on. But yeah, just check out this area. I mean, the ceiling, that is not cheap to have put in. And because it's a model home, they've really gone nuts with it. But uh, you can see why, what you're looking at right now. They're using this as the formal dining room. Love the rock wall behind it. So there's no really need for more of it, more dining space than this. But some beautiful built-ins. And this rock fireplace goes all the way up. And some more built-ins on this side. But there is a beautiful pool outside. We're gonna show that in a little bit. Before we do, I wanna go check out these uh, secondary bedrooms. You got access to the outside from all over this house. We do have eight foot doors throughout. Here comes our first full bath. Beautifully done. You've got the little archway up above the shower. Nice bathroom. Got some wing coating on the back back there. Beautiful view of the pool and this can be your own little suite because this door here in front of me blocks it off, shows the whole bathroom, and still gives you access to this. Check this out. Now this is what I call a movie room. They have done this almost upright. And the way I say almost is you really should put a projector in here. This is a perfect place to have a projector mounted right behind me you can put a 110 inch screen back there and it'd be perfect. Don't be afraid of projectors anymore. Um, you can get a 4K projector. I have an Epson one at my house and bulbs are cheap. I paid about $250 for a bulb that lasted me as a primary TV about four years. So don't be scared of getting those uh, 4K projectors. Epson is a great builder of them too. but. This movie room has its own full bathroom with a shower. How cool is that? All right, I'll kind of show you where we are because it's easy to get disoriented when I cut through something like that. This is the kitchen and the main living space. We had just gone down that hallway. We're gonna go down this hallway this time. Because we have another bedroom back here. Only three bedrooms, but uh, they are super cool. A little fence, ain't that cute? They carry that fence all the way around. And this bedroom's gonna have its own full bath. And they painted a little archway there. And a mini walk-in closet. People are still living here, so I'm trying to respect their privacy, as always. Okay, so on this wing, we have the two bedrooms with their own bath and the movie room. Oop, can't forget the pantry and the laundry room. Okay, this is a really good full-size pantry. Definitely not going to run out of space you have a great laundry room nice uh workspace but no sink and that's okay and just get you where you go there is we're back to what they had as a formal dining room and i want to show the three car garage making sure i don't give the cars license plates just because i'm silly like that but uh three car garage Really nice. All right, let's go ahead and head outside. 
and uh, check out the outside area and we will finish up in the master bathroom because I really want to show off that bathroom in there because it's pretty cool. All right, this is just over one acre for this lot, but then you have the next lot option. Now, something else unique, the sellers just last year put this, it's actually screened in. So if you want to have a place for a little extra shade, say a little cigar room to where you wanted to smoke your cigars and not worry about mosquitoes. I mean, our mosquitoes, they're not bad like they are in Houston, but they do get annoying. But check out this outdoor area. It does have a really cool ceiling fan up there. I don't know how well it shows on camera. A nice eat in, I mean, a nice kitchen area. Let's see how, how good a shape this grill is. That's pretty good shape. Could be used, cleaned up, but it's not all rotted and falling apart. All right, check out this pool. Now we are facing west. Well, I'm facing west right now. The house faces east, so you will have the sun setting over there. However, Things can be worked out because they got these giant screens that can roll down. And those come really useful this time of year when you're trying to have happy hour at uh, six o'clock at night. And that sun's right there. That sun's no joke uh, during uh, July, August, and the first two weeks of September. So having those screens really kind of help still give you this outdoor living space without having the sun melt you in Texas. It's a beautiful pool built by Cody. Um, it did cost the seller, I think they said $95,000 to have this pool put in. So that's a nice plus, beautiful waterfall feature. And this is a heated pool. Um, we are on septic out here and they have I believe we're gonna have pro paint tanks buried somewhere out here but a really cool fire pit section perfect for bringing uh, some lawn chairs out here during the winter and have a little fire pit session slash uh, see if you can bet someone that they wouldn't jump in the pool in the middle of February that's always a fun game to play my neighbors, if my old former neighbors, that used to be a fun game we'd play on New Year's Eve. Uh, do a little polar plunge into the pool after we've had a couple of glasses of scotch. All right. So you go, to nice little patio areas. I'm not sure that's gonna convey because these can move. That's something we find out. Well, let's talk about this uh, outside area. I have some out-of-state buyers who might be interested in this house, and they asked me to really kind of focus on this additional outside space. <coughs> Pardon me. We do see it got plenty of driveway. They've got a horseshoe pit. This place is designed for entertaining. And they had built in this additional acre side. Remember that you can be had for 149K. Where they've got a little putting green set up, a trampoline. I see a little sitting area back there. So it's really nice having this extra acre. Um, and if you decide you didn't need uh, these little niceties, well, you can always sell your one acre lot as an investment. But then of course you'll have somebody living a little bit closer to you than that house over on that side. All right, I'm gonna kind of walk back here, just kind of check out what this other acre property looks like. Oops. All right, this looks like I see the lines for someone else's property. So I don't believe that, yeah, that's gonna be on someone else's. And this little shed here, 
that's someone else's property as well. That's so. Not on this, because you can see the little lines here, but that also explains why there's a wooden fence. So it looks like this extra acre goes where you see the rock wall all the way down to the street and probably up where you see this little grove of oaks. That direction and back here to the wooden fence. Alrighty. We're just doing a little exploring here because they got a couple play sets. And the seller did put this wooden fence in just about a year or two ago because obviously they probably wanted to block the view of that RV back there. So that's a gorgeous wooden fence. <clears throat> and uh, the sellers stated in their listing that they don't have a survey available, so you would have to get this house resurveyed especially if you're going to be splitting this this two lots back up again because i believe the property line goes somewhere around here cutting through that playground area wait there's a flag back here i believe this flag separates from like here toward the street this is this house with the one with the house on it for all together for 950k and then everything to my right is a one acre for 149k that's what they're asking for for now so hopefully that clears things up a little bit they got little walking trails kind of carved through here But yeah, my uh, buyer wanted me to ask about the barn there that's not on this property. Okay, yeah, he was talking about, he saw this on Google Maps of Muslim Hay. It's like this is the back side of Copper Ridge. So what you see out here is not part of Copper Ridge. This was a ranch that backs up to Copper Ridge section. But it still gives you some nice views. All right, let's see. They really went a little crazy on these little trails. But beautiful views out here. Oh. Now, don't don't leave me yet. I know this is a little boring part. We are going to get back to that uh, owner suite here in just a second. I just wanted to get a thorough view of this property because <clears throat> my out-of-state client asked me to. So I want to give people as much information as possible to make the best decision as possible. <clears throat> But you see the fence line runs all the way down. You can see part of the house roof that direction. So we're going to head back up towards the pool. Oh, that was... Okay, that roof line was to a different house. You can kind of see where their driveway ends. This is... I would guess where this trail is, is the edge of the house that's on the market property line. Because there's the pool up top there. All right, well, it looks like we just walked the whole back perimeter of this lot. And there's quite a bit on the front side. If y'all didn't think that felt like an acre, because there's quite a bit of property on the front end. All right. At least give you a good view of the back part of this house. The hot tub does not convey, 
per the listing agent. I can represent any buyer who's interested in this house. This is not my listing. All right, let's head back in because yeah, it's uh, getting a little hot right now. We're supposed to get up to 98 degrees, which is what we're supposed to be late August in Texas. Whew. That feels good. Okay, back to the main living area. Let's check out this owner's suite and then we'll wrap this up. All right, wow. Look at the detail on that ceiling and I can already, it already jumps out at you. And I can tell the seller of this house, just like the last video I just uploaded, was military because they have things of Rothersburg. I have been there and I've taken a picture underneath the little bridge. That's a really cool city in Germany, very cool medieval city. But we're not here to talk about Germany, we're talking about this house. And this bathroom was worth the wait, I hope. Check this out. You do have a his and her vanity. Once again, with the arches. Lots of arches in this house. Big soaking tub. And yet again, another beautiful shower. I've been sitting in a lot of really nice showers lately. Got two shower heads, no rain shower. But this is really cool. Very nice detail on the shower. All right. You got a water closet right there, but I didn't check to see it. So of course that lids up, but I'm not showing too much of their personal stuff. So let me do a quick scan to show you just how much space is in here. Cool. Okay, now I can slow back down. I just don't like focusing on people's stuff. So I believe this is gonna be a linen closet. Yep, just a linen closet. And from the master bedroom, you can go out to the back entertainment area as well. One last look at this beautiful main living area. And we got the movie theater right behind that wall. Super tall windows, a very cool roof. And the built-ins around the fireplace. GoPro stop recording. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful formal model home built by Vintage Estates. Remember, this is a three bedroom, four bath, just over 3,500 square foot, uh, gorgeous custom home. And they just had that $100,000 price decrease, making the asking price for this house 995,000. So I don't think this house is gonna to last too much longer with that price cut. So if you're interested in this, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is gonna be on the final screen. Texting is always the best way to go and I'd be happy to schedule an appointment with you via Zoom or conference call. And uh, keep always remember guys, buyers do not pay realtor fees. The seller covers that for you. So don't go through this process alone. All right, as always, hit that like button, subscribe and keep sharing these videos with friends. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye. All right, quick bonus feature. I just saw the note from the listing agent about these shades. So you can do it remotely from the inside. So I mentioned the sun coming down. When you want some additional shade, all you can do is hit this button and you can see that screen goes down. Let me get a closer look. Isn't that slick? And you can do it for both sides because there's the other one now going down. Pretty slick. All right, that's gonna be it for now, for good this time. All right, take care, bye.